Okay, I got some feedback on uh, the video did on how to sharpen a cabinet scraper. And I thought I would redo it and improve it slightly. So here we have, this is my ca cabinet scraper. Uh, it's a bit blunt. So as you can see, and there's a bit of oak here. And well, it's, it's not too bad, but it could be much sharper. So what you're going to need for my method is I use an oil stone which takes off the, the old burr which is on here so I can create a new one. You're going to need the trend slip stone which you can see on the side of my video here and I also use a burnisher. Now if you don't have this you can actually get away with using just a screwdriver but it's not quite as good. I also need a wee bit of oil to go on my oil stone. So what I'm going to do is put a bit of oil on my oil stone and I'm just going to do one edge so that it doesn't take too long and I'm going to rub my scraper back and forth. In fact this is the smooth side, I want to use the rough side to it faster. So a bit of oil on the rough side and like so, so I've taken that board that was there off and I can feel it if I go along the edge I can't feel it anymore with my fingers so that's it gone clean off the oil and then what we're going to do is create a fresh burr onto the scraper so I'm using this uh, an orthodox thing for this, but it works really good. It's the trend slip stone. And so again, I just hold the scraper at 90 degrees on the rough side because it's a wee bit faster and it gives a good enough edge. Um, and you've got to do this quite a few times so you build up a bar on the edge. Too bad. A bit more. Right, I'm going to try it at that. Then use my burnisher. So I'm holding it. Right, you can see this. That is uh, 90 degrees perpendicular. So or zero, I guess. So you take it 30 degrees like that. And what you're doing is you're pushing really hard so you're holding the scraper really firm in your fingers and you're holding this really firm and you're putting all your force through to bend over the bar. And four or five times it should be enough. Turn it around and again and lots of force and then hopefully I've done it well. You can see there's a, a much bigger oh, there we go. And, and you can feel it as well, some good bits. So see, there we go. So that is a simple, easy way to get a really sharp edge on your cabinet scraper.